what is up everybody it has been a while since I've made a video a couple weeks and it is a day after Christmas so Merry Christmas Merry late Christmas everybody um, today I have a little halo 5 footage uh, this is from the the beta and I just want to talk about that I, I've been reading a lot of um, bad things about the game saying it's changed too much and people don't like it and hardcore halo fans don't like it or whatever but I think it's necessary to, to, to change a game in order to help it advance and in order to ga gain new fans and players. Like, the, the differences in the game aren't that big. Like, there's um, like a, I don't want to say it's aiming down the site because it's not really like Call of Duty aiming down the site where you look through the sights on the gun. It just kind of is like half of that it doesn't quite go in it's like grand theft auto 5 first person mode where you can zoom in all the way through your sights or you can just hold the gun up and see first person and just like shoot it's like it's not a complete zoom but it's not uh old halo shooting whatever you want to call it it's just not the normal shooting from halo but it's not a it's not a bad change it's and in my honest opinion i think it's it doesn't even help you at all. I think the people that play like they're playing the old Halo games do just as good, if not better, than they would do without the uh, with if they were to use the sights. But that's one of the big changes, and it's not a big one. And then another change is like the uh, like uh, I, if anyone has played Advanced Warfare, which most people have, they have like the rocket boost where you can boost to the left or right or when you're in the air boost forward or backwards they have that in halo 5 and it it should have been brought in a long time ago in my opinion because they've always had um they've always had jet packs it looked like on their back or some sort of thing that looks similar well i'm trying to think maybe they didn't but maybe they did i don't remember but anyways, it's not a huge thing. The, the boosts aren't that dramatic. It's not as bad as Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. It's not like a huge boost. It's it's a medium to minimal boost. Maybe like 10 feet, 15 feet. Probably not even that. Um, but that's another difference. And I, I don't think that's, that's very bad. It's not a huge game breaker for me. And then another thing is when you're in the air, I think you can hover. I I don't know if you, like, I, I don't know. I, I've been, I've jumped before and I kind of float for a minute, but I don't know if that's um, a way to do that or if I just kind of fucked up and it did it for a second. But if that's something, like, the, the hovering thing, if that's, like, a, a feature that's going to be there, from when I did it, I didn't do it for more than one or two seconds so it's not a huge difference to me like there's really nothing that's going to stop you from except for maybe falling off a cliff or um saving yourself from getting killed if you're jumping down and like uh maybe you can hover for a second and then the person will continue to aim downwards and miss you but other than that not a big difference and then the last one that i noticed is like when you jump in the air you can press the uh the melee button when you're like, you can press the melee button and like aim downwards. There'll be like a big circle on the ground and you can like do like a power kick or punch thing. Kind of like Call of Duty Advanced Warfare again where you have the uh, like the dive kick type thing. But there's a big circle and you dive down and punch. And I think if anybody's in that circle, they die automatically. And if they're right outside of it, it damages them pretty good. But other than that, no big differences classic halo fun game um i'm hoping they'll get it up to 1080p i mean the 720 at 60 frames per second is very good very smooth it's a very beautiful game and not like i don't give a fuck about graphics i just want a fun game like i could play something 1080p 60 frames per second but if it sucks i don't give a fuck i'm not gonna play it just because the game's pretty doesn't make it or break it. But this game is fun. It's pretty for what it is. And I'm just hoping the single player of the game will be 
will be as good as any other Halo. I mean, I've never really been a big fan of, like, I think after Halo 3, all the storylines were pretty, yeah, they they weren't so good, but I, I like the game. Hopefully, it's going to be worth it. I don't know, don't know when this game comes out. I think December of next year or sometime in the holiday season, and I will probably get it, uh, depending on what the single player looks like, and I'll probably just get it. It's an exclusive, and I've always loved Halo. I've played every fucking Halo, and I'm just excited for another Halo. I, I really enjoy that game, and I'd be looking, for, I'd be excited to get another Gears of War soon, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Maybe a remastered collection of that would be awesome, where they, excuse me, I had to burp, where they redid all the graphics on all three of the games instead of just one of them. That'd be nice, but uh, enough about that. Another thing I want to talk about is Halo related. I hear they're releasing ODST for the Master Co Master Chief Collection, and that will be a free download for early adopters, I think is what it said, which I, I think everyone will get it, but I, I liked ODST just because it wasn't typical Halo. You're not the fucking Spartans, and you're not, like, extremely overpowered in, um, in the game. But I, I, I really enjoyed it, and I, I feel like that was a... A very underrated game. Many people, a lot of people disliked it, and I was not one of those people. I there's things I didn't like about it. I didn't like the the fighting and like the city and stuff, just because it there's like it's still there's boundaries in the city, so it's not like an open like an open. I don't want to say open world, but it's not like an open environment. There's still like the the map boundaries and all that, but. I, I say 60 bucks for the Master Chief Collection for five games in the beta is a steal, and the multiplayer is getting a lot better on it, so that's awesome. Um, I don't know what else to say. I, I guess I'll end the video here. I don't know how long this the the um, footage is going to be for this. It's going to be. I don't know if I said. It'll, yeah, I did. I did say earlier it's going to be Halo Five footage. I, it's not going to be great because I couldn't get any good gameplay because uh, I only had like two or three hours before the servers went off for the the uh, early access. So I'll try to put my best footage in there and just so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like. And yes, have a good day. I hope everyone had a great Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, or whatever. If you don't celebrate, hope. Hopefully you had a great day yesterday, and I look forward to making more videos soon. I'm going to post my NBA 2K15 video up again, the second game. That's like fucking three weeks old, so <laughs> I was talking about stuff that is not relevant anymore. So, yeah. I need to get back on this stuff. I'm, I'm constantly game, gaining subscribers, which is weird to me because I haven't made any new content, but I thank everybody who subscribed, and... I really appreciate it. But yeah, I'm going to go now. And have a good day. Goodbye.
One near blue bed. Two minutes left. Victory!